Chuck, chuck it, it. Chuck it. Oh! <laughs> that was a that was a header from a football game, which um, <laughs> is something that's very British. Very British. Hi, I'm Emily Blunt. And I'm James McAvoy. And we're here to discuss a typical British day. Breakfast, also known as sometimes brekkie. Brekkie. Yeah, kind of like that. that. I would say that is a full English. That's a full English breakfast. You might yeah. also have fried bread. On a regular day, I still like to have some uh, Marmite on toast. Now, I'm trying to train my children to enjoy this <laughs> fantastic spread. The problem is that when you actually look at what it is, it's yeast. yeast. Extract. extract. But I absolutely love it. I used to have it twice a day, breakfast, and then ran home from school and had it again. It's full of vitamin B12. And if you're in a malaria zone, apparently eating a daily dose of this will help keep the mosquitoes at bay. Which must mean <laughs> that it's um, hard to believe. really good for you. Oh, God, straight from the jar. No, never. Mm. Dabbed on toast with lots of butter. It looks really strong. I feel like in America you've got the New York Times and you've got maybe a couple of others that are those like highbrow ones. We've got a handful actually. Yeah, There's like quite a few. the Times is what my dad reads still. Now here we have a tabloid. I don't know if you guys have a thing such as the tabloid. We could say this is a very classy paper. An allotment is a piece of ground which is given over to small, very clearly defined gardening patches and you apply to the government or the local council for access to an allotment. It's a very cheap piece of land, you can grow whatever you want on it and you get whole communities of people like doing different things and sharing their produce and it's a really beautiful little thing. Oh, this is nice roast beef. Those roast potatoes are not looking strong, though. I have to they say, that's a pathetic effort. Bit. Those look like chips. Yorkshire pudding, you must never, ever make it from a mix, guys. Ever. It basically pancake mix. So you do it like a savoury pancake mix, and you p bake it in the oven, and it goes... But you know, the, tri the trick is to leave the batter out all day. I made them at Christmas, and they were like boats. They came out like that. I loved Countdown. It used to be on just after I came home from school. So you'd come home, you'd be a bit tired from school, and you'd, you'd have, have a cup some of tea and some toast, and you'd watch Countdown. Yeah. And it's the most elaborate form of Scrabble. Can I get a vowel, please? Yeah, there's, Consonant, you know. please. Yeah. There's a lot of, of there's a lot of please and thank yous in Britain in general. Shopping! Or messages. If you're in Scotland, you don't go for the shopping, you go for the messages. Really? Is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm just popping out to get some messages. And Argos is a catalogue shop, so you get like a big huge book and it's got a million different sections with a million different goodies in it, from electrical to makeup to jewellery to, to toys to watches, want, TVs. You pick what you want, type it into a little computer, go pay for it, and then you go up to the counter and they just bring it to you. And they've so. just got a warehouse of stuff behind them. It usually takes a bit of time. <laughs> Hit me with some Bickies, my man. Oh, fantastic. Come on. Go on, go. Okay. Don't crack them, though. We're taking those home. This is what we call a builder's tea, which is incredibly dark, powerful, strong tea. You're describing it like it's the dark crystal. It's tea. I'd say this is stronger. I think both of these, it's like you'd put your spoon in it, it would just stand up. Right. That's how strong they are. Yep. This. Light. It's delicate. It's, it's what you get when you're in America a lot. It's true. People give you that, and I'm always like, ah. Oh. Uh, hobnob. Classic dunking biscuit. I grew up on these custard creams. Used to Digestive. have them every morning. You know the thing that you used as a cheesecake base? That's this. But it's got dark chocolate on it. But it's have awesome. you ever had a chocolate covered pop -nob? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> you only got arrested for it. These remind me of my Nana so much. She always had them in the car. Wine gums? Wine gums, yeah. I think they used to classically have alcohol in them, but they don't anymore. Oh, Monster Munch! They are hideously tart and salty. I once, I once knew a girl who prided herself on a Friday night going out and getting a two litre bottle of soda. She would empty out like a third of it, fill it up with vodka and then crunch this stuff into the top, shake it up and that would be her Friday night. Is this necessarily dinner material? Maybe like a classic school canteen dinner with beans, baked beans on top and a tomato sauce. I had lots of casseroles growing up. Did you have lots of casseroles? No, I had lots yeah. of spaghetti bolognese. That's basically the only pasta that British people think exists. That is, though. <laughs> All that other stuff, I was just like, cool people from Brooklyn invented that. <laughs> 
The British pub, maybe not part of a chain. There's no brewery that owns it. It's independent. The floor should be a bit greasy and sticky from like centuries of booze spilled. Yeah, the carpet looks like it came from 1942. It should, anyway. And so does a landlord, maybe. In a proper good English pub, or British pub, I think people know your name, it gets a bit like cheers. I've only had one in my lifetime. It was a pub called the Bank of Friendship. And it was, everybody knew you when you went in, it was great. <laughs> I what usually like to have like a, a cup of tea before I go to bed. My grandparents do that. Yeah. They're like, oh, we never sleep. And I'm like, it's because you have caffeine before you go to bed, you <laughs> idiot. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Guys, uh, that's just a typical... British. Day. It's like we finish each other's Don't sandwiches. Enjoy.